In this JavaView online training video, I will consider JavaView's structure visualization capabilities. There are two options for 3D structure visualization in JavaView, JMOL and Chimera. Both are integrated into JavaView and will seamlessly interact with all the JavaView windows. The JMOL viewer sits within the JavaView desktop. For more information about JMOL, we recommend you visit the JMOL website using the link on the screen. Chimera, developed at the University of California, San Francisco, sits outside the JavaView desktop, and a Chimera view window sits inside the JavaView desktop. Chimera has to be installed separately and can be downloaded from the UCSF website using the link below. To select either JMO or Chimera viewer, go to the Tools menu and select the Preference submenu. Go to the Structure page and select the viewer you require. You may need to specify the location of the program, but often this isn't necessary. There are several different ways to access protein structures in JavaView. JavaView can load protein data bank format files directly by going to the File menu, select Input Alignment from File, and select the PDB file. In the Alignment window, select the sequence, then right-click the mouse to open the Context menu, select 3D Structure Data, and this opens a Structure Chooser dialog box, and click View. In the Alignment window, if I mouse over a residue on the sequence, this residue is highlighted in the structure as shown. Mousing over a residue in the Structure window, the corresponding residue in the Alignment window will appear black. Placing the mouse over a residue in the structure will bring up a tooltip indicating the name and number of that residue. In JMOL, clicking on a residue will toggle a label on and off. JavaView can load protein data bank format files directly from the WWPDB by connecting to the PDBE at the EBI. Go to the File menu and select Fetch Sequences, then select the PDB data bank. In the Sequence dialog box, enter the PDB ID and click OK. In the Alignment window, select the sequence, right-click the mouse to open the Context menu, select 3D Structure Data, and in the Structure Chooser dialog box, click View. In the PDB Sequence Fetcher, as well as using the PDB ID to fetch sequences, a variety of other identifiers are recognised including the organism's name, the molecular name, mutation IDs, and the uniprot IDs. If an alignment is already loaded in JavaView, for this demonstration I have loaded the ferrodoxin alignment using the URL on the screen. To view a structure, in the alignment select the sequence of interest, right-click the mouse to open the context menu and select 3D structure data. In this case, there are a number of structures available. In the Structure Chooser dialog box, the structures can be ranked. Best quality is the default option, but there are several other options, such as highest resolution. I select the structure I require and click View. It is possible to customize the Structure Chooser dialog box by going to the Configure Display column page. Select the additional information you require by checking the appropriate boxes and return to the Found Structure Summary page. To illustrate how to alter the appearance of structures in a viewer, I will fetch the protein file 3A6S and read the structure into the Chimera viewer. This protein has two chains. I can assign different colours to each chain. I can view the structure as a single chain or the chains together. There are a range of different colouring options available. In this case, I have coloured the structure based on the physico chemical properties of the residues. JMO and Chimera are both very powerful structure viewers with many functions. To learn more, we suggest you visit their websites. Or look at the JavaView Online Help or visit our website to access our user manual.